Hey guys, I'm Ant Partridge uh, from Partridge Designs and I'm here at the Bike Shed 2019 exhibiting what some of you might recognize as my Harley from a previous video that we did. This is actually the fourth generation of this bike. This bike originally got built as a flat tracker for, uh, for my TV show Goblin Works Garage um, where I epically failed and crashed this thing and smashed it a bit. I broke the car, no roll. I didn't turn left. <laughs> then I rebuilt it to a semi-similar version of this, whereas the tank and the tail and the pipes are still the same. The wheels are still the same, just a little bit different. So then I rebuilt it once again for, for TV. We wanted to make an ice racer. I took it to Sweden and raced it at a speed week in Sweden. Okay, next start on the shore. Hence why we had to modified the front of it. I've put a new front fender on it since last time you've seen it. I've changed up the brakes. It's got ISR brakes. It's got new Olin's front shocks. It's got Goodridge uh, D-Link quick change brake lines. Uh, new front number board. Uh, new handlebars. Magura foldable hand controls. I've converted the clutch over to hydraulic clutch. Same pipes as last time. Just uh, cleaned them up for the show. I had new foot controls by Sato, new uh, pulley cover inside Roland Sands, outside Koryakin. Had a new lightweight swing arm put on it because the original one is like about 20 kilos and this one weighs 1.2. Um, and then obviously we've gone and spiked the tires to get some traction on the ice. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a bit of a mental beast. Uh, obviously I can't start it up now because we're in uh, we're inside the bike shed it's got no fuel and we're in show mode so if you want to hear it you can you can see the last video that we did at the bike shed that's pretty much it it's it's literally been filmed and built four different times this bike this is this is the last time I'm gonna do it the only thing I've got to do now is put the tires back on it without the spikes on it put my license plate on it and this is it this is how it's gonna sit um, other than the pink graphics um, because I didn't want to commit to paint I just wanted to play around with it first so I I put them on as decals um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, how they look so I'm gonna do that in paint now and other than that, this is how the bike is going to be from now on. I'm just going to put it on the road. This is my, 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 my daily ride. So uh, if you want to learn more, uh, I don't know, go to thebikeshed.com, go to their YouTube channel, subscribe, um, swipe up. I don't know what we're doing here, but um, yeah, we're here at Bike Shed 2019, and uh, thanks for watching.